Some people may experience discomfort such as eye strain, eye fatigue, or nausea whilst watching 3D video images or playing stereo as well as 3D games on 3D televisions. If you experience such discomfort, you should use CSE recommends that all viewers take regular breaks while watching 3D video or playing stereo with 3D games. Another read it that quickly. Assassin's press the start button to continue. And welcome to the first game on Matt's in What's Ahead. I'm going to be playing through Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Inspired by historical events and characters, this work of fiction was designed, developed, and produced by a multicultural team of various religious faiths and beliefs. How interesting. It's so beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've played like an hour and a half this game before. Best start. Oh, look at that! Just realised I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see anything. I think I'm already signed in. Yeah. Play the story, start them up, let's tweak the animus. Let's play the story. That's my brother. I want to start a new game. Dr. Fond. Mad. Can you do like, equals D and stuff on this? Yeah. Hmm. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up, or laughed them off, sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. Yes, maybe we should. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. My ancestors stole potatoes in Ireland. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Don't take the apple, buddy. of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that nothing. this is where they want us to be. It brings nothing. When it does, they've been guiding you us in know. their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. 
He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the Apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Ooh. Well, I remember this from the last game. I know what to do. Let's fucking do it then. Oh. Exhilarating gameplay right here. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Oh, I can't run. I mean, it looks pretty. At least there's that. Not into the dark, mysterious caves. Daddy, I don't want to... Oh, what's that? after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Walking in the window and the no, that's the no, no. Walking in the land is the no, no. Can't see because of her bum. Do, do, do. Move your ass out of the way! Do 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 Join me on it. Oh, I've lost my glowy stick. What my glow stick? Pick up the ghost. C uh. I can kick it with me. Come on. Oh, fuck you then, like. Don't want to come with me.
You must find the key. Okay. Sir? Sir. That's not what he looks like. He's wearing a pirate hat. <sighs> Here we go again. You know what? I think I'm going to end the recording Desmond? here. Oh, wait. Do you hear us? Yes. Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into Look the animal. Face. Action face. I don't know. Making sure I was okay. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Die. Right. Of course. In that punch. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond, while you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Okie doke. Right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Yeah, that's gonna be part two. So, it's gonna end here. I think I'll name that video. Intro. Oh, I'm so, I'm so inventive. Oh, <laughs> what about inventive names? I put lines and shit in the title. Oh, yeah. So yeah, next episode I'll be running to that green thing. Yeah. <laughs>